<laughs> we got to bring your shirt today. Well, right now, what's really happening is, is setting up, making sure that everything is what it is, and the backline gear has been set up, uh, getting ready to check the lines for that, um, and we're going to have sound check, and then we're going to have the singers to come and do a sound check, and then Byron to do a sound check today, the schedule of today, and then tonight we're going to start tracking, and just getting some, some safety tape is what we'll call it. And so um, that's what's happening today. like y'all were when y'all was in the house. Okay? Yeah. Cool? Um, it's, what, it's on you. You tell me. Um, no. No. I'll, once I come to the side, you're on you. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. yeah. Did y'all hear that? There's no verb for the uh, monitors, but we have to feed the verb from the house. Okay. okay. The verb and makes the same. So. Yeah. And I'll have them return on the house just so, so, we just, so you can just hear what it would be. Okay? But I just want to make sure that y'all are cool. Okay, okay. Check two, 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 two. You got me over there. Two, two. Mic check one, 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 two, one, two, off. Two, one, two, one. Hey, one. Check for you. This would be uh, mid. Three? Yes, please. What I gave you was high. Check it. Testing two, three, four. Twenty. Surprise. No, no, no. Yeah. Two, one. Everybody for coming, being a part, supporting us. 
to love New Bern, so I think that we're going to have successful reporting and everything is going to be great and wonderful. If you guys need anything, just holler, but I appreciate all you guys for all the hard work you're doing and the short time that we have to do it in. Thank everybody for coming out tonight. And this is... Oh, this is our producers. Producers. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Walter. Yeah. Walter. Jay Moss resting somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> just pretty much... Um, Let's just have fun doing what we do. Everybody's a professional in their own right doing what they do. And, uh, you know, let's just everybody just have fun with it. And uh, mostly let's keep communication. If something's wrong, you know, let's make sure we talk about it, you know, talk to the right people, get it in so we can get it done and handled. But most of all, everybody, just have fun. From the band all the way to the lighting to everybody, let's just have fun. All right? Can we, can we just address the top of the show? The top of the show has to work. It's not something that we would like to start and stop and start over. We want to make the top of the show work. That's going to take us into, it's going to set the atmosphere for the rest of the service. So if you just tell us, just walk us through the top of the show. Okay, the way, the way that the, um, the concept of the video and the DVD is an invitation to worship. So on the screen right now is an actual invitation to worship for Byron Cage Live at Newburgh Cathedral. What is going to happen after that is the prayer which will be between Pajam and Byron, which are his producers, will go on in the interview and makeup room. That feed will go di directly live to the congregation. The whole house is completely dark. So you see the prayer as it's happening backstage, out front. Then uh, Mother Cage and Bishop Long will introduce Byron. And he just, the, the, the cameras totally follow him in darkness straight to the piano. No lights for any background singers. Everything's dead but that piano. Okay? And then when Byron gets up from the piano and walks, and that's when all the lighting changes over. But it's got to work for the element of surprise. Because it just won't work the second time. So we cannot mess it up. Wow, tomorrow I pray will be a praise and worship experience unlike we've ever witnessed before. Because uh, we always know the Bible says that in the presence of the Lord, there's a fullness of joy that no matter what we go through, we have the joy of the Lord, and the joy of the Lord is our strength. So I believe tomorrow God is going to release joy in the room. He's going to release his power. Uh, so it's going to be a, a great time of, of inviting worshipers to come together and getting on one accord as they did on the day of Pentecost. They gathered in one place, and when they did, they did one thing, and the Bible said the sound came from heaven as a rushing mighty wind and filled the temple where they were sitting. And so I'm just looking for God to fill the temple where they sit. An expectation of it. Well, you know, the Lord has really truly blessed me to have great relationships with um, pastors and churches all over the world. And this particular project, um, I brought my friends together um, from Kansas City, uh, from Chicago, and from Atlanta to pull together what is it, the uh, Byron Cage Live Part Two, um, an invitation to worship. And so. This is nothing more than a whole bunch of worshipers from all over the country that are just coming together to yield our gifts and our voices to create the glory of the Lord, which is what he created us to do. You know, this, this particular album um, is such a worship experience. It's just, you go on this journey with us. Um, we, we start out with invitation, inviting God's presence to come in, and then we do a song that I wrote called Holy, 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 and it moves in such a diverse way. Um, we have a reggae kind of song that's called He Reigns, um, we, we have another song that's very um, a contemporary Christian called We Love You. So it's not really just set on one thing. We know that God created music and the creative gift that he's given to us, um, however we do it, as long as we keep the gospel of Jesus Christ in the forefront, then the message won't be lost. And I think this is certainly an example that when you listen to it, um, it's hard to say which one is my favorite. They all are my favorites for different reasons. That's like asking me, do I wanna, uh, do I like leather or do I like suede better? I like them both. I like to wear them both at different times. And um, this worship experience on the CD is just like that. I believe that everybody will have a favorite song, but it'll be different every week. Let your voice and sing his praise. Shout unto God and give him glory. With our voice and hands of praise, we will exalt and bless you only. You are Bible says in Holy, Revelation, the third chapter, that you know, he, the Lord showed them the things to come in heaven and how the angels were doing nothing but crying, Holy, 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 are you Lord? You know, and um, it just lets us know what we are to do on the earth is really practicing what we're going to do when we get to heaven. And that's worship with angels and 
bow with elders and just give them all the glory. Oh, I expect the Lord just to do something fresh. I expect the fresh wind of his presence to come in and, um, and we experience it in such a way that it'll go way beyond the night of the recording. And once the people hear it on the CD and they watch it and watch the DVD live, my prayer is that that, that same experience will just come into their homes or come into the airplane while they're on there watching their portable DVD, wherever they are. And they just have to call mention of him right where they are, uh, knowing that when we worship the Lord, that way there's power because it says, he inhabits or he dwells in the midst of our praises. Father, we come before you because we know that you have created us, God, to glorify you and to honor you and to bless you. And even in this place, as we gather our spirits, God, and we gather our talents together, everybody from the technical to the musical, Lord, we thank you that we believe this uh, recording is going to be a tremendous blessing for all who shall hear and see and witnessed in this DVD, God. So we just ask you now, we've done everything that you've required us to do. Now we need your anointing, God, to destroy every yoke and move by your spirit, move by your power. Do what you desire to do in this place. Bless every person, God, who shall have any aspect in this recording. God, just bind us together in the spirit of unity and the spirit of worship. For where your spirit is, there's freedom. So we feel free to worship you tonight. So we say thank you, God, for what you are going to do in this place. Thank you for Paul and thank you for Jay. Thank you for Walt, God. Thank you for the label, God, Jesus. And we just give you glory and honor for all of the singers and musicians and all the technicians. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, I guess you could consider me the vocal director uh, for the for the entire production um, as far as getting the background singers together and teaching them the music and uh, just making the music feel good for Byron as far as the vocalists are concerned. God placed it upon his heart to, you know, entrust us to do this project with him, and we're excited about it. It's a great honor. Byron is such a great person, and he's the prince of praise and worship, so for him to ask myself and my choir to be a part of this, we feel very honored by it. The well, first part, there's 14 of the most fantastic songs I've ever heard. There's a great music. Um, the traditional music is wonderful. The band is wonderful. Of course, the artist is great. The producers, I mean, to work with Jane Moss is like really, like a really wonderful. So it's just like a great collaboration of people, Dwayne Woods. It's just like a great collaboration of people who have come together to bring all their talents together from it just to make this very special. So yeah, it's definitely in for a treat. Uh, it's going to be power packed. God's going to be in a blast. It's really going to be power packed. And it's just wonderful. I can't wait for us to you know, get started because, you know, we've been practicing. We've been uh, really working hard towards this night. So we're very excited about it. I believe one of the things that's going to really make this album special is that uh, it's going to be ahead of its time. Uh, the church is always constantly growing and advancing, and especially in music. The presence of the Lord is here. The different songs that were on that last record, they were for a particular season. They're going to always be classics, but when you have music that is going to always constantly evolve, evolve he's staying with the time. So this record, it's going to be very much so more praise and worship music, things that people can sing during their praise and worship services. And, um, and even still, the black church really bridging the word, the world between the black church and the CCM music, um, adding like a black texture to CCM music and then allowing the, the black church to start singing that music. I believe that some of the lyrics that uh, CCM writers write are just so passionate. And he's taking those lyrics and, and, and those scriptures that we just overlook sometimes. He's put, them, put music to them. And it's just going to be absolutely incredible. I think the singing is phenomenal. The musicians are phenomenal. Um, Byron himself is, is actually a phenomenal worship leader. And so it's, this album is going to go to a whole nother place. It's going to reach a, a different class of people. And he already has his nucleus of people that are his great supporters. This album is going to be a pleasure to them but it's also going to attract new people to, to what God is doing. One of the things that makes Byron stand out for the rest is his personality. He knows how to work a stage. He knows how to bring people into where he is. Especially, you know, you can get him where he's having fun, when he's doing an upbeat song. He knows how to work a crowd. 
when, when he enters into the holies of holies, he, he positions himself in a place with God in worship. It's one of those things that you can't help but join in with it because it's so passionate, he's so serious about it, he's so sincere. And these are things that, that make a difference in gospel music. There are people that can sing and they have incredible gifts and they're just gifted and it stops there. But the one thing that I love about Byron is that he's not only gifted, he's anointed. He's called to do what he does. He's skilled at what he does. And he takes pleasure in what he does. And when you add all of those things together, it brings such life to an artist. It brings such life to everything that they're doing. And so that's one of the things that really makes Byron stand out, you know, and which has kept him so popular, especially since this last record. It's kept him so popular because he's able to go in and he's able to reach the masses. He can, he can come in and do one service for somebody specially, but he can go out and reach millions of people, reach masses of people, just because of what God has placed on the inside of him. But there's this one song that Bible wrote, it's a, it's a song called Special Place. But it's lyrics that you don't hear sung all the time. There's a place, a tranquil peace, where my soul is found sweet relief. A special place where I can rest, it's in the face of this whole earth. And it's one of those songs that I sing, I find myself, even though I had to teach the parts and learn it, I've taught maybe about 14, 15 songs for this recording. But that one song, I find myself every day singing it because it, it just carries a different meaning to me from, from everything else. I love all the music. Bless the Lord. He has this one song that's going to be a major hit for him. Bless the Lord. And holy, holy, holy. Great upbeat songs and even great worship songs. I mean, this is the air I breathe. But special place, I find myself singing that song every day. I just want to just leave, if anybody remembers anything that I've ever done musically, I don't want you to remember the singing voice or the talent. I want you to remember the experience that worship is so important that as a worship leader, there should be a moment where you're not even seeing me the person anymore, but you're seeing the spirit within me leading us all together into such a wonderful experience where when God comes in the room and he dwells in the midst of us, um, he is doing supernaturally what we can ever think or imagine. It's going way beyond that. He's opening up the windows of heaven, getting in a pouring position, getting ready to shower down blessings upon his people, so much so we don't have room enough to receive. And my prayer is that as uh, my believers and my fellow worshipers listens to this CD and watches this DVD, that it will provide you with comfort in times of despair. It will also allow you to enter into the presence of the Lord so much that your heart cannot be filled with depression and praise at the same time. That when these songs of worship come in, that whatever you're going through, they're going to lift your burdens and they're going to be a balm of Gilead in your time of indifference and in your time of uncertainty. Be encouraged. I love you. I thank you. Keep our ministry in prayer as we take it all over the world. God bless you.